It's the holiday season, and if you're like me, you're around lots of family. Usually during this time of year, I hear about all the burdens that families bring. People bringing dogs over to their house uninvited, grandparents micromanaging the grandkids, spouses not standing up for one another. I was going to talk to you about the burdens and how to cope with them, but my perspective changed after I received a message from my father when I asked him in preparation for this what some of the challenges he faces. And I got to tell you, he sent me the most striking and profound message. He said that what he and my mother try to do every Christmas Eve is they try to create this event where everyone is satisfied, happy, entertained, and they want to come back every year and do the same thing again at my parents' house. And I got to tell you, I was blown away because I realized how selfish I've become and how I've been over the years where I always felt like this was just one more obligation that I had to go to during the holidays. I didn't realize the sacrifice that my parents do when they're hosting this special event for the family. And what I realized from my father's text was that he is giving me the greatest gift and he's giving me the gift of family, time, and celebration. And I realized that they're not gonna be around forever. And as he's giving me the greatest gift, that I can also give him the greatest gift. And that is being intentional, being present, being appreciative, helpful, and kind when I am there. And I'm also going to carry this to any other events. Any host, parents, friends, whoever's, whoever's hosting over the holidays has sacrificed so much in preparation. And they are hoping that you have a great time and you want to come back and do it again and again every year. So this year, I am challenging you to spread this gift to whomever is hosting you, whether it be friends, family, or your workplace. I want you to be bold. I want you to be helpful. I want you to have a great time and show your appreciation.